it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today we are going to do the upper half of Maribel. So uh, if you watched the tutorial already, we pieced her together like we normally would uh, a regular off the mat, which she looked beautiful, but we're really going to go extra, extra on this. So uh, if you think about the top half of Maribel, we're gonna make her glasses kind of like stand out a little bit. Uh, we're doing pom-pom earrings, we're doing the uh, yarn butterfly on her shoulder, and we're doing the black, I think on her dress it's probably like um, threading, like embroidery of, of the black stitching. We're going to do... Um, we're gonna do HTV flock on that. So that's what we're doing today. We're just gonna to piece together the upper half of her of her um, body. The lower portion is gonna to be tomorrow's design um, assembly tutorial, where we're gonna be stitching and stuff like that, uh, and the tassels for her skirt. And then the last day will be like all of it put together on a foam board. So anyway, um, thank you for coming along on the journey. It's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm doing because <laughs> this is sort of the first time that we're, we're doing her this way. Uh, we did Frida, you know, where we added the rolled flowers and uh, the dangly earrings and all that. But this is still, I mean, it's in that same vein, but different elements. So uh, we're going to just work our way through it and see how it goes. Um, all right, so I want to do the HTV first, and I'm going to show you really quickly in case you want to be reminded. So you know, she looks horrible now because I started to undo her to get the pieces off so that we can um, add those fun elements. So all right, this is what we have so far. These are the pieces. Okay, um, I want to do the HTV first. So I'm going to turn on my uh, mini uh, heat press and we're gonna add these little pieces so I overcut on the HTV so I only have the actual piece that I'm gonna put down and it matches up with the cardstock so that I uh, you know it's I do this because it's easier I don't have the extra sticky carrier sheet uh, to deal with these two will just line up and then I'm gonna add heat to it and then pull it off so because I did this for Teenage Bell, I realized, oh, if I'm overcutting, I should overcut on mandalas. So that's my HTV hack for that. That's how it that's how it came about. So okay, let me get um, the heat pad, Teflon sheet in case we need it. Okay. So you can see these little pieces, I'm missing a piece. I'm missing HTV for this piece. I'm hoping that after we put everything together that that little piece will pop up. If not, I'll cut it afterwards. But we have enough pieces here for me to show you. So this is still heating up. So with this, you know, you just line it up and then we're gonna add heat. I wanna show you, once, we're, once we do this one, you'll see that the flock adds so much character to the piece, like it's fuzzy it pops up a little bit um and the color is so much brighter than the black that is all around her as the outline so while we're waiting for that to heat up let's work on the glasses you know the glasses would be like normally flat right we don't want that so here's her frame i cut out the frames a few times to add a little bit of you know the foam squares so that the glasses will kind of stick on top of her face and not flat on her face so oh and I just heard it go so let's press this first piece and see how well this works so I've got it all lined up and I'm just going to and the reason why I cut out these pieces um, the cardstock pieces is so that I'm not applying heat to the whole project. I'm only applying heat to this particular piece. All right, let's see. Um, I get a little tool to see if I even need it. You know, if I can pick it up. Okay, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna peel off the carrier sheet and do you see how vibrant this black is? I know, is that, 
can I even call black vibrant? But this texture is just so beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna compare that to the other black piece and you can see like why I wanna use it. It just really pops out. It looks like a uh, fabric. So it's really gonna make this shirt look gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Um, I just wanna make sure because I was pulling at it, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more heat with the Teflon sheet on top so that it doesn't damage the material. So no direct heat is applied to the actual material. I mean, look at that compared to that piece. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna try to take a really up close shot of that so that you could see it. It's just gorgeous. Okay, let's do the next piece. I got this little guy here. So it's all just the little extra things. I know that I'm going very, very extra on this. I don't know if you guys will be doing it with me. Um, but you know, now that I've done quite a few off the map projects, like we were, we've gotten through the drill of, okay, we know we can make it big. We know, um, you know, how to look at something and determine the size, um, to still keep it as seamless as possible. Um, did that come off? Um, so now what's kind of, I feel like what's left is, let me add a little bit more heat, um, is to make it, you know, more extra. So I hope that you guys are along for the ride with me for that. And I can't remember if this is a cool peel or a hot peel. So pretty this it's it's really like a velvet velour and this black is just gorgeous okay we've got just one more piece after this because I lost this piece and we'll figure that out hopefully or I'll recut okay let's line this up so yeah so what I was saying is um we're just gonna try to make every project going forward a little extra. So maybe a little bit more than you wanna do. I can totally understand that. <laughs> but I'll always show you how to do it like a before and an after. So that way we still catch everybody who wants to do it Who's still learning I really need to use this flock for like you know I need to do like a black on black flock I think that will look so good I need to order more blanks I've lost track of where I've added heat if I can pull this off. Oh, this is so pretty. I am so looking forward to seeing this whole thing come to get, come together. And would love your thoughts on her skin. We're seeing a lot of Maribels out there. So I want to hear your thoughts on all the different skin tones that we're seeing from all the other creators. I am using the one that's from my curated skin color collection. But always looking to add more colors and see, you know, if I can source it. So let me know. All right. Okay, this piece is done. 
All right, I'm gonna turn off my heat press for now because I think that's the last that we're gonna do today with that. I'm gonna move this aside. I know I keep having my eyes peeled out for that missing piece right there. Okay, so this one, first thing we're gonna do is let's just glue down. This is so thin, you can see from the glasses. It's so perfect, but it's so thin that I'm just gonna glue down this one, this first one. So I have my Barely Art glue. I love this precision tip and you'll see why in a second. Let's see, it's like, it's so perfect. down it's so thin okay it's so thin and so perfect and it's gonna dry clear so we're good there okay so first layers down this one's gonna be thick enough that we can add foam squares to it I hope without having to trim it ah oh, it's still a little big you know what I'm gonna do instead? I have my hot glue gun. I'm going to do little, is it not hot enough? No, it's hot. I'm gonna do little circles and let it dry hard so that it's gonna create that space that I want. And it'll be clear and I don't have to cut the foam tape because the foam tape is already clunky and then if I have to cut it and then also make sure that nothing happens to it. So I'm gonna do this instead. I think this bubble's a little bit short. Okay. So you see I added, oh, you can actually see that, yeah. I'm gonna do one more set. Oh my gosh, that one's, that one's a big bubble. And I'm just swirling it around. And it's gonna dry and it's basically like a space holder. I haven't done this in a while because I got used to using the foam tape. I didn't like the foam tape at first because I didn't like having to peel off the tape off of each one. And I was, I had rather be making these little glue dots instead. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is because we did this one first and you can tell it's hard now. I'm going to move this aside. See, it's gonna sit on top like this. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of glue so that I can actually use it as glue. And I don't need to do it on all of it, but I did almost all of them. And we can just wait for it to dry and then we'll we'll clean up all the, the glue strings. But you can kind of see it gives it a little bit of space. And it's nice because it's clear. And in this case, you know, it is so thin. I think the white glue dots would have, or the white uh, foam squares would have been a little bit distracting. All right, we've got one more layer.
And you can see, look at the glasses are kind of thick, so. It's gonna be so cute. Just every little thing that we can add to make it more than just cardstock stacked on top of each other. This is gonna give it what we want, so. Well, my, my glue gun lately has been really um, drippy. I don't know what else, I mean, it's like extra, extra strings for some reason. All right, that's done. Let's look at these butterflies. The The butterfly wings, Um, I forget how it goes. You know what, I should probably have her up here, so give me just one second. Bring the Salty Yankee. And here we go. I just have her image up so that we can see it better. Oh, does it not get bigger? Okay. So the butterfly is like this and yeah, like this. So I'm going to add, which pink did I decide to go with? Um, is this the same pink? Yeah. So it's, here's the yarn. Let me close this up. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue gun right here. And let's see if that works. I'm just going to start it. Oh, it dried so quickly. I'm just going to put a little bit at a time so that the yarn isn't gonna move on us. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue right here. So that's gonna be on her shirt. That's one side. It's not completely covered. I'm gonna put a little bit more down right there. And actually on this one, I'm probably gonna use, I'm gonna use barely art glue. I'm just gonna hold it down while it dries a little bit. And we can always come back and get the rest of it, like where it's not covered, but I think it's okay because it's already in pink. Let's do this side. And I'm gonna start from over here this time, like, no, I'll do this.
No, I'm going so slowly because the yarn is so hard to work with. I don't want to miss, like I already missed that spot right there. I'm wondering if I can go in like, because it's a cut on the, on the wings. So I don't know if I can go right there. Oh, you know what? I can. Let me try it. I also don't want to burn my finger <laughs> with the glue. And being a big baby. Okay. I think that's good. And I'm also going to glue it a little bit right here. Okay, I think we're doing really, really well. Okay. I'm sticking everywhere, okay. So we've got that end down. I'm gonna get this one down and then we'll be good. Just gonna cut that off. All right, so we've got the two. So her, her dress is gonna look like this. It's gonna look more like the butterfly that you see in, in the movie. All right, so that's down. Let's look at her hair. If you remember, I have, so this is backwards. Her hair has two brown pieces and then the outline in black. I sort of want to put this down and just tape it down so that it becomes one piece. So this is down. Let's put this one down as well. So I think that's taped down. Okay. This will just help us move it more easily. So you see her hair, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, um, pom-pom earrings, that's what's left. So I've done one, I wanted to show you that. So we're gonna do another one just like this one. Isn't that cute? So, um, and then after we do this pom-pom, we're gonna glue together the top half or not the top half, maybe the top third, like her face, her hair, the pom-poms, and like the embroidery on the shirt. So let me tape this down a little bit more so that it doesn't move like that.
think we're good with this. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> okay, let's do this pom pom. All right, so um, this is the Clover pom pom. Um, I love using the pom pom maker because it really helps me make um, really sturdy ones, right? Like this is not going to fall apart on me. So I like it firm. I like to have the sizing correct. So um, it's really easy. It comes apart like this. It comes in different sizes and it's like $6 or something on Amazon. So the link is in my, uh, in the description. I love it. I make a ton of pom-pom stuff, so I think it's worth it. Okay, the way it goes is there's a little pin that sticks out right there. You just put it together like this and the arms match up. So this is gonna be the top half of the pom-pom. This is gonna be the bottom half or vice versa. It really doesn't matter. But the set of arms go together, okay? Um, and we're using this purple, which is right here. When you're doing pom-poms, you can do multiple strings at one time and it'll be faster. We're doing a small pom-pom, so it doesn't matter, but I'm taking the same, from the same one, I'm pulling two strings, okay? It doesn't matter how you get started, I promise you. <laughs> so I hold it like this. So my left hand, I'm holding the middle of it, and then with one arm out, I'll grab, I'll hold onto this, um, the yarn, and then I'm just gonna start wrapping. So you want to really fill up this half of the rainbow, okay? So from side to side, we're going to go until it's really fluffy and full. And you'll know because I'll show you in a second after we get a little bit more. We'll close up the pom-pom to see if it's nice and fluffy. Now, the other important thing to note is you only want to be up here. So down here, you want to stay in the middle. You don't want it to wrap outside of this tool. Like you don't want it to go like this, okay? It needs to be inside just this rainbow shape, okay? And I think it's getting full. And if this happens, just push the yarn back like that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna close this up and you can see it's full. There's no spaces. So this is good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, now we're going for a really fluffy palm and a sturdy palm. We're gonna add, we're gonna take our glue gun and add glue right here. Do not get glue on your pom-pom maker. You only want the glue on the yarn. And it doesn't have to be a lot. This is just enough to keep your yarn together. We will tie it so there's that as well, but this keeps it from like unraveling. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hold on to the strings out here so it doesn't undo itself, okay? I'm gonna cut it off. So right now, I have the end and the beginning totally irrelevant at this point. We don't care about that. We just need to, this to dry. Um, don't close it until it dries because then you'll it'll stick to your pom-pom maker, okay? So right now I'm waiting for this to dry and then we'll do this arm. Um, the only other thing that you need is embroidery floss and trust me when I say you need embroidery floss, which I'm looking around right now for mine and I don't see my purple one anymore. Um, this is what happens when projects take too long to finish and I do other things. My desk gets crazy. Um, I'm going to need to look for that because I want it to match. Um, okay, I'll look for it in a second. But I wanted it to be this one, which it was here. All right, let me see if this is dry. Okay, this is dry, so I'm going to let go. Now I'm starting over again. I'm going to hold my left hand. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to grab two strings again because that was pretty fast, right? If I can find my two strings, where is it? Here's one. All right, here's the other one. I'm gonna hold on to the two, and then I'm gonna start wrapping. Uh, for the bigger palms, I've even done it with like four or five strings. You could do four or five strings of different colors, so that will get you a different pom-pom. Um, 
a multicolored palm, I guess I should say. Um, I've done a lot of fun things with pom-poms. I've done it where it's white with sprinkles of color in there, um, pom-pom scarf, pom-pom earrings, pom-pom headbands. My daughter loves it. Um, pom-poms are on her backpack. <laughs> okay, so I think this is getting pretty full. Yep. So I'm going to pull this out, cut the string, and I'm going to glue this side. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it for now. And this is so frustrating because here's the blue one, <laughs> which I don't want the blue one. I want the purple one. Give me a second, I'm gonna go grab it. Hopefully it's, I have more. is the only purple I have so <laughs> let me look for it on my desk it's got to be here somewhere okay I'm looking I'm looking here is the white one with the speckles of color sprinkles of color oh my goodness oh I found it I found it yes okay so I think this is dry now. Okay. So what you want to do is now that you have two dry ones, you're going to close it up like so. Okay. Um, cut about 24 inches of this string. You'd, you just don't want it to be short because we're going to be tying a knot. It's going to be easier to tie, you know, have a long string to tie it. Okay. You need really sharp scissors at this point. You want to hold the pom-pom maker together and you see how there's like a slit right there? We're going to be taking our scissors and we're going to cut open this pom-pom. And it's going to want to pop open because it's fluffy right now and it's okay. We're just going to be cutting down the middle. And you can see it's starting to look so cute, right? On this side, same thing. Okay, once you have that, you're gonna take your embroidery floss and you're basically gonna floss. So you're gonna take this and push it down in between the two yellow arms and pull the string up here. Now you're going to tie a knot and tie it really, pull it really tight. So that's going to be one. You're going to take the string and go all the way around again. And we're going to tie a second knot up here. Then we're going to tie one more set of knots. We're going to flip it over. And I double knot it here. So here's one, and then here's the second knot. Okay. With the second knot, you're going to undo the arms now. So you're gonna pull out the arms, pull out the arms on this side, and then grab hold of the sides and pull it apart and you're gonna have a fluffy palm. So it's gonna look like this, and you just trim it to look like this. I like the smaller, um, like really firm palm, so you're just gonna start trimming. I'm not gonna trim this one because it's so messy when you, it's all over my desk. So um, you just trim like that until you get it to the size that you want. Okay, so that's this. Let's bring her up and we're gonna start taping her together, gluing her together. 
uh, let me clean my thing because I forgot to close it. So let's make sure that my bottle's ready to go. Oh, and it's not. Okay, let me undo this real quick. Um, so Barely Art, it comes with like a little kit. It's just, these are needles. And that way you can really get your glue in there and clean it up. Um, you shouldn't have to do this. <laughs> you only do it because you forget to close the bottle like I do. Like I constantly do. <laughs> Let me get this in here. Okay, I think it's clean. And I put this on and then I'm gonna wipe off all the glue and then we'll bring her up and we'll start piecing her together. So, all right, let me move some pieces out of the way. Okay. So, let's put her hair down. Because the hair, we know where the hair goes. There's the outline. Everything else has to go inside of that, right? So that makes it easy. So. So I'm just gonna take some of my hot glue gun and I'm gonna put it down my glue not coming out. What is going on here? <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna take out her neck and her face for now. And let's just work with her hair for the time being. Get the hair down. weird about my glue gun. I don't know what to make of it. It's hot. I can feel it. But no glue was coming out. Um, okay. Okay, let's see if I can do it now. Now the glue's coming up. And then what I'm gonna do is, you see how this is lifting up? I'm gonna run it with a little bit of Barely Art glue along the edges. So right now what I wanna do is I wanna get the hot glue gun down in sort of like the middle areas so that my hair will stick down. And then we'll get the outline to, to stick down with the Barely Art glue in a little bit. And these are the kind of the workarounds that we have because it's so large. If it was just like 
one piece everything was one piece it'd be really easy to do um, but the brown we had to slice and all that stuff so I'm gonna hold this down and just add some glue right here knowing that her face is gonna cover that, right? So I'm just kind of gluing down some parts. So not everything has to be down, but enough of it has to be down so that it doesn't kind of like flap around. I know it's really tedious right I totally get it but it's so worth it in the end okay, let's see if I can get that to stick a little bit better The rest we can kind of do, we can clean up afterwards. This is down enough. Okay, so let's do so big I'm trying to get to my pieces let me see if I can get my tools here um... All right. oh my gosh is that not any better there we go okay we're gonna put down the face so the face is just gonna go right in so with her face, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to take glue and glue it in. Now, do you see the tips, how it's kind of frayed? I'm just going to cut it off. I don't even know if you can really see it, but I feel like 
it's a little distracting to see that it got frayed a little bit. So I'm just going to cut it there. All right, so let's put glue down. And make sure this piece doesn't go anywhere. Put her brows in. <sighs> That's what I get for not cleaning or not putting the glue cap on. Drive me crazy. looks so good <laughs> okay let's um <clears throat> let me clean out my glue bottle again okay Okay, it looks clean. I don't know what's going on. All right, let me clean my hands. I'm gonna just rub them off. That is part of the reason why I like this glue though. It doesn't get on everything, even though I'm messy and it gets on my hands. Okay, I'm gonna do this eyebrow. design space so I can make her bigger. Oh, you know what? I already have it. And she's coming along. She's going to be so pretty. Okay, I'm adding her to the canvas so I can make her really big on my screen so we can really see what's going on. Now, um, this goes here, but it's going to be the pom-pom. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do the pom-pom. I'm not going to put the earrings down. I am going to put this down over here, though. Okay. Um, let's make her really big so I can see what I'm working with. All right, let's put her eyes in. How does that look? No. It's more even down here.
I think that's more accurate. Um, let me get, hold on. I'm gonna do the white dots first so that I know where everything goes so the eyes look good right there um, put a white on the dot the dot on the white <laughs> like what did I just say okay I know I changed I changed it I moved it a little bit okay so let's put glue on this thing and on this I'm just gonna hold it I'm gonna dab this off a little bit okay I think that looks good. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's do glue on this. I am struggling. I'm going to dab off a little bit. She looks so pretty. Okay, um, let's put that little white dot on. Okay, that one went on a little bit more smoothly. I'm gonna move this a little bit. good and then her glasses so her glasses aren't so flat on her face right they look so good uh, let's see where do her glasses go you can see all of her eyes they go like that oh my gosh so <laughs> cute let's put in her lips and that'll make her that'll make her smile just complete Other way.
So, I mean, obviously not like this, but. Okay, so the lips look good like that. Maybe a little bit down more. So now I'm going to put the her teeth in the first. I thought I wiped off all the excess glue, but I didn't. It's still popping out. Okay. Okay, let's put her glasses down. So her glasses, there's like, I'm gonna, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. <laughs> I'm gonna trim, there's just a little bit of excess glue right here that I'm gonna try to trim out so we don't see it. It's super minor, but I can see it. And now is the time to definitely clean up the glasses. So any glue strings you want to grab now because it'll be harder to get to them once you glue it down onto your whole piece. So now would be the time. Okay. These glasses look pretty good. Okay. You can see the whole thing more like that, right? Okay, I think I got it. I think, no, more like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put glue down and then it's gonna be final.
Okay, so that's down. So we know this piece is here. So I'm kind of, oh, here, let me see. Let me move this down. I know this piece goes here because of how, you know, the outline. So I'm actually going to glue this down so that this piece is in here. And we're gonna work our way up. Because it's so big, Normally, I would not do it piece by piece like this. Um, I would make sure that all my pieces are lined up. But she's so big, you can't even see all of her, right, in the screen. So we have to kind of make a call. So. out of the way we're going to do the earrings last so let's see where all these pieces go We know those pieces have to go there. So I'm tempted, I'm gonna regret this. I'm tempted to put it down. Okay, so these are when, let's see. That doesn't. Oh, maybe this is thinner. I'm going to get the black embroidery pieces from underneath. Okay, so how to 
does that all look? Looks good, huh? Okay, so how does this go? Okay, I'm gonna glue this piece down. Let's glue down this neck next. Makes me so nervous. <laughs> We're getting towards the end. the little butterfly piece it goes like that I think okay so I'm gonna pick that up do that last um okay let's do guess it's time to do this piece right here <laughs> All right, let's do this piece. The suspense over. Okay, I have way too much glue on here, so I'm gonna get the ends. Okay, here we go. Do this little piece. I absolutely love her glasses. In person, they like pop up a little bit. Love, love, love. Okay. Blending the glue. So we've got that down. We've got to put this embroidered piece down. Let's do I feel like we should do this arm right here. <laughs> it's a lesson of patience and breathing.
Jeez. Wow, that did not go well. <laughs> but we still got it down. Okay. And glue down this finger. The nice thing about this the skin color cardstock is I think this piece is a hundred pound cardstock, so it's nice and thick, so you can see it's not curling at all. Let's do this piece. Let's do this arm. We'll move this out of the way. You want to just kind of push down so that the glue is anchoring itself to the black background so even just you know it makes a difference even just pushing down a little bit on the ends the points then it will you know at attach itself oh I had glue on my finger I think I'm okay all right So this goes here, that means this piece goes This piece just goes in, so we'll put that piece in next. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blower and kind of just get all the glue and everything off of this piece. Okay, so that's in. Let's glue down these pieces. And where does this go? Oh, like, like that. I'm missing that piece. Um, okay. Oh man, this piece goes way up higher because this goes here. I don't think I can take it off. That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> That's okay.
I'm just going to Just put it down like that. Okay, so this little guy. Okay, so the whites are almost all down. We have to put the inside of the butterflies, but I can put this down now. is so pretty. Okay. Do the same for this. Pretty. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got the butterfly. I can't even tell which side is which anymore. So let's put this brown piece down, which goes right there. And you know what? I'm going to get the white pieces of the inside of the butterflies. already okay wait let's see where does this piece go this piece goes in here let's finish this up I just realized we didn't get her little finger right there because there's a little piece that goes right there missing a little piece there and a little piece there. We'll have to come back and do that. Okay. So this is going to go up like this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a big blob to dry. And that'll help, you know, give it spacing. So let me put that down over here. 
And then on this side, we'll do the same thing. We'll put a big blob right there to prop it open. Okay. Put that there. Of course, the pieces that I'm missing, I'm missing the little whites in there. And let's see, there's going to be whites in here. And so like, for instance, this is going to go there. So we still need to, <laughs> can you hear my daughter? She like opened the door to see like, is she recording? Yes, she's recording. Daddy. <laughs> so darn it, I'm still missing the pieces there. I don't know what happened to my cut. Um, I'm missing a few pieces here and there, so. I'm gonna have to recut some of these butterfly pieces. Oh man, my glue fell down. My glue blob. It was too thick. Oh. All right, so this one, let's see. Still drying. All right, let's work on these little pieces. And we're almost done <laughs> with the top half. We still got the bottom half to do. We still have stitching, but the skirt panels are pretty easy, I think. They're, you know, the pieces are already in place. We, we're just gonna add the details. These butterfly pieces. You know what? I really should have thought about doing this in HTV <laughs> and just ironed on the whole thing. Okay. Because I'm missing pieces all over. There's not one butter, just one butterfly is complete. This last one, I think. Oh, we still got to do the pom pom. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to add the pom-pom yet, so I'm going to have to think about it offline, but I will show you and talk to you about it on the next video. I will figure it out offline. I haven't quite, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay. We're gonna do the butterfly and then we're gonna basically take a break till part two so this is gonna go like this okay so I'm gonna add glue down here and then I'm gonna hold it basically while it dries Maybe it will help if I have this one over here too. Maybe. That one stayed pretty well. This one did not.
look at that. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna finish the butterflies, the little pieces of the butterflies. I have to recut those. Let me show you with that pom-pom what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So, I'm thinking of doing like a purple ball like this. Imagine that like this, maybe shorter. So like a round, a little round purple thing, and then her pom-pom. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off, this little piece. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna do it right now because I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this off, okay, and it's so small. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Okay, I'm gonna cut off a little piece, and I basically want to Swirl this around. Hmm, let's see if I can do it. It's working, but I don't know. So I'm just swirling it around. Getting glue everywhere. Cut this off. So I made like a little purple round thing. So I gotta glue that down. Okay, so it's gonna sit like this. Then I think what I'm gonna do. So hold up. Right. I'm gonna put down a purple perler bead, okay? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that down, put this on top to hide it, and then this will wrap around it. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea, right? Okay, let's do it. Um, hold on, let me get my, oh, here we go. I put glue down. I think that looks good. I'm gonna wrap this around like this, I think. Shorter. Let's see, how does that look? So, I think I'm going to add a little bit of glue and I'm going to wrap it around. Oh boy. Like really making it permanent. Okay, 
So then I'm going to cut this off. And then right here okay that one doesn't want to cooperate so I'm going to cut that off so it doesn't show. Okay. Then we're going to glue this on top. Oh, that's going to look good. Okay. So <laughs> let's hold this little guy. Oh, man. They're such small pieces. Okay. I'm going to hold this little guy like this. Oh my gosh, looks so good. <laughs> okay, now we gotta repeat it on this side. Oh, but this side, we've got the butterfly right there. I'm gonna have to make it, yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Let me know what you wanna see comments, questions. I'm going to finish this up. We're going to do the second part of her dress. I got to prep that because I don't know how I'm doing the embroidery just yet, but we've got the top part down. All right. See you.